If you look at my e-commerce store over at BumblebeeLinens.com, I generate over $300,000 per year on organic traffic alone. For my site over at MyWifeQuitterJob.com, I generate almost $1 million per year organically from search alone. Now, how is this possible? The traffic comes directly from my blog. Now, the de facto standard blogging platform is WordPress, which is pretty much the only platform that I recommend. And in order to rank in search and get free organic traffic, you need to have a blog. Now, if you look at my stats on a tool like Ahrefs, you'll notice that my online store search traffic went up by 4x in the last six months. Similarly, the traffic for MyWifeQuitterJob.com went up by 3.9x in the last year. And the reason I was able to accomplish these traffic gains was by restructuring my site for the search engines and by internally linking my content to focus specifically on my best money-making pages. In this video, I'm gonna explain exactly how I was able to 4X my traffic in such a short period of time and the main tool that I used to do it. Let's start with the basics. The first thing that I did was find out what all of my money pages were on my blog. A money page is defined as a page that actually generates sales or revenue. And what you'll find is that you might get tons of traffic to certain pages on your site, but if they don't convert, then what's the point? So to do this, I first started by going to Google Analytics to check my stats. Here's just a quick overview of what I did. Under site content, landing pages, I went and found which pages on my blog converted the highest percentage of email newsletter signups. Now for my blog, Newsletter signups are what directly lead to sales of my courses and affiliate offers. If you run an e-commerce store, you would want to choose the posts or pages that directly lead to purchases. So here's what my list of money posts looks like. It's important to create this list, otherwise you won't know what to optimize for. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you sign up for my free six day mini course below. Now that you're armed with a list of blog posts that make you the most money, now comes the tedious part internally linking to these posts. Now, before I give you an over the shoulder tutorial of exactly what I did, I wanna quickly define what internal linking is so you understand why it's so powerful. Internal linking refers to the practice of linking to other pages within the same website. This means creating hyperlinks from one page on a website to another page on the exact same website. And internal linking is important for several reasons. First, it helps users navigate a website more easily by providing them with a clear and logical path from one page to another. This can improve the user experience and reduce the bounce rate and increase time on site, both of which are important ranking factors for Google. Second, internal linking can help distribute the page authority and improve search engine rankings for important pages. When a page on a website links to another page on the same website, it passes on some of its authority to that page. This can help to increase the visibility of that linked page in the search results. And then finally, internal linking can help to establish a website's architecture and hierarchy, making it easier for search engines to crawl and understand the website's content. This can improve the website's overall SEO and make it more likely to rank in search. So basically in a nutshell, in order to rank your money posts in search, you're gonna to wanna to link sculpt your page authority to your best posts and interlink your content in such a way where Google can crawl and understand your content. So for example, let's say my post on dropshipping is where I make the most money. Then I wanna link as many relevant pages of my blog to that dropshipping article to pass as much link juice as possible. So now that we know what we need to do at a conceptual level, how do we go about doing it? After all, it is super tedious to go into each and every post and create backlinks to each page. Now, when I started this optimization process, I had well over 800 blog posts on my blog. Now, the best tool out there to create internal links is a tool called Link Whisper, and they have a free version that you can try at no cost by using the link below. Link Whisper is both a WordPress plugin and a Shopify app that assists you in creating and managing internal links on your website. And what's cool is that it also uses artificial intelligence to analyze the content of a website and suggest internal link opportunities that can help improve the website's SEO. With Link Whisper, you can quickly and easily add internal links to relevant pages within your website without having to manually search for link opportunities. But talk is cheap. Here's a full demo of exactly how I use it. And then at the end of this video, I'll give you a tour of all of my changes. All right, here's a sneak peek at the Google Analytics reports for my blog over at mywifequitterjob.com. And for this blog, newsletter signups are the most important thing. 
and I have a goal set to track all newsletter signups and which blog posts actually contributed to it. So the first thing I do is I go over to site content, landing pages, and then my goal. And then I just check to see which posts have like the highest conversion rate for newsletter signups. So as you can see here, how to open an online store has a pretty high rate. And let's see, clothing dropshippers has a pretty high conversion rate. Introduction to e-commerce has a pretty high conversion rate. Shopify alternatives has a really high conversion rate. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm finding out which posts generate the most email signups. And those are the posts that I'm gonna to wanna to optimize. Okay, so looking at my analytics reports, I found that this post is one of my money posts. So just in case you guys don't understand the terminology, an internal link is simply a link from one post to another. So in this example here, I'm linking to another post that I wrote on minimum order quantities. And in general, since this is one of my money posts, I wanna link as many relevant posts to this article as possible to make this article stronger in the eyes of Google. Now, the problem with doing this step is that it's super tedious. Not only do you have to find all the articles that are relevant and then link to this post, whenever you write a brand new post, you also have to remember all the posts that are relevant so you can link out to those posts as well. If you were to do this by hand, it would be impossible. And this is why I use Link Whisper to do this. Now, the next step is to go into your blog backend and just make sure you have Link Whisper installed. Now, you can use the link below and get a free version of Link Whisper so that you can actually follow along here. But once you have Link Whisper installed, there'll be this tab here in your WordPress backend. So this is actually what Link Whisper looks at on the backend. And the first thing I usually do is I just go over to the links report. And I specifically look for that post. And it's right here. And this column here tells you how many internal links are linking to that page. And this column indicates how many links are outbound from that page. And in general, since this is one of my money pages, you want as many internal links to this page as possible. I've actually already done this exercise for this post, and you can see here there's 75 internal links. So instead of just using this article, I'm gonna show you how Link Whisper works by picking this article that has zero inbound internal links. So this post on mompreneurs who are killing it with their businesses actually converts a decent amount of email subs and it has zero internal links. So in order to bolster this post, I wanna find other relevant articles on my blog and link to it. So I click on the add button here. And what this tool does is it finds all the relevant posts and linking opportunities that I could potentially link to that post on mompreneurs. So here are the link suggestions that Link Whisper came up with that I could link to my mompreneur article along with the anchor text. So I'm gonna go down and look at these links now. And let's say I wanna link this podcast episode to that mompreneur post. Now, if I like this backlink as is, I can just check it off and then click add links. But in this particular case, I wanna change the anchor text around so that it's just e-commerce business. So I would click on the edit sentence here, highlight what I don't wanna link in the anchor text, click remove link, and then it's just gonna to link to that article with e-commerce business. Okay, so I would check it all and click add links. And lo and behold, that backlink automatically gets added to the post. As you can see here, this makes the process infinitely faster to interlink hundreds or even thousands of posts on your blog. And in this way, what I did is I just took my money post, found all the linking opportunities to that post, and then linked to that post because those posts generate me the most money. Same goes with an e-commerce store. If you have a product page or a category page that makes you a lot of money, what you wanna do is you wanna find related blog posts to link to that category page so you end up making more money. And in this way, you can focus all your link equity on the posts or pages that actually make you the most money. Another feature that's very useful is this feature called auto-linking. And once you know what your money posts are, you can actually enter in keywords and the post where if you just happen to be using that keyword in a post, it will automatically link to your money post. And by including a whole bunch of different keywords here, so let's say drop shipping. Let's say I wanted to add a keyword drop shipping to automatically link to my money drop shipping page. I would just add this here and then create an auto link rule. All right, so anytime I'm running a blog post and I mention the word drop shipping, it will ask me whether I want to link to the drop shipping post. And I don't have to go and hunt and peck for the URL and that sort of thing. It happens automatically. So let's just summarize everything really quickly. What I'm doing is I'm finding my money pages, 
and then I'm adding as many relevant links to that page as possible. I'm also taking blog posts which may be orphaned or have very few internal links, and I'm finding link opportunities within my website to link to them to bolster the strength there. And then finally, to make things easier on future blog posts, I'm setting auto-linking rules so that my money pages automatically get linked to. And by doing this just one simple exercise, by making sure my money posts get all the love, I've been able to increase the traffic on my blog by over 4x. Okay, so this is my wife quitter job. Now let me show you Bumblebee Linens. As you can see here from the bottom here, I increased the traffic by 4x. And it's all about sculpting the links to your money pages and making sure that you have no orphan pages on your site. So once again, Link Whisper has a free version that you can try at the link below. But if you want to take organic traffic and blogging seriously, then consider getting the premium version of the tool. Now that you know the importance of internal linking, make sure you watch this video here for an in-depth tutorial on how to rank an e-commerce store in search.